Okay, hello everyone. So this is going to be yet another Descendants album review and this one this time is the next one right after Milo goes to college called I don't want to grow up which was the next album by Descendants They had the last the last album with the bassist Tony Lombardo in it and was the first album with the, a new guitarist Ray Cooper in it. Now, this album was more on the melodic side of things. Unlike Milo G Goes to College, which had hardcore punk type songs or so called hard hardcore punk type songs. And during this time, Milo was in college studying biology, which was actually what Milo Goes to College was named after, in case you don't know. And this song was had more pop influenced love songs like Christmas Vacation, Good Good Things. And this album as well, it started off with a track called Descendants, which is their band name. And it was more probably like the uh, and probably heaviest song in the album. It's a pretty good opener too, I gotta say. This is a really good opener for this album. It's a minute and 42 seconds. A lot of these songs on here are really short, much like a lot of Descendants songs in general. The shortest song in this album is about 33 seconds, and it's No Fat Beaver, which is pretty much a goof around song that they made. This song there's a mix of like goof around like the song pervert that was a goof around song and I don't want to grow up as kind of one of those two but songs like can't go back are kind of a little bit more serious but Descendants did have a lot of a lot of humor songs especially back then especially in like Milo goes to college through everything sucks as soon as it started to get to cool to be you then things started to get more serious but this was the time back then when they just made songs just for the heck of it which they pretty much always did which I did enjoy they didn't really do it for money or the fame or Thing, like a lot of today's artists do and there's actually a theme on this album which is like an instrumental which I really enjoy too it was like I did like the drum parts in this instrumental really like uptight you know my favorite song in this album probably has to be well, actually I can't really decide between can't go back and Christmas vacation and ace was also a really good song too and a great ender it was the longest song in the album three minutes and 54 seconds as for like songs that are more popular in this album silly girls like probably the most popular song in this album Although I don't know if it would be considered a single or not. Really close to being as good as Milo Goes to College. I have to give it maybe 2.2 stars less than Milo Goes to College, so I'm giving this a 4.5 rating. Very good album. Milo Goes to College is slightly smidgen better, but this doesn't mean this album wasn't good because this album was actually very good. And probably my second favorite Descendants album of all time. I do highly recommend checking it out as well if you're first starting to get into Descendants. Either this or Miley Goes to College are really good albums to start out with if you're first starting to listen to The Descendants. This was released in 1985 and a lot of the songs, like I said, are pretty short, but I wish they were longer. That's the only complaint I really have with this album, though I think a lot of them are long, slightly longer than they were on Miley Goes to College, but I still wish they were longer. Anyways, guys, that is my review for Descendants I Don't Want to Grow Up, and I'll be reviewing more Descendants albums in the future. I'll probably review them in order, going from Milo Goes to College through their newest album, Hyper Caffeine Spasinate. So, subscribe for more content, follow my Twitter for video updates, and I'll see you guys later.